Hello, 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 hello to you all. Welcome to another video here with us at Mathematics Resource Center. And today I am so excited to be going through this question with you. It is a CSEC class paper question, May 2019. And this is a measurement question. And this particular question is on area and volume of a cylinder. All right, so just let, let's just get into it. All right. So the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a cross section of two cylindrical jars, jar X and jar Y. The diameters of jar X and jar Y are 3 centimeter, 3D centimeter and D centimeters, respectively. Initially, jar Y is empty and jar X contains water to height depth of 4 centimeters. All right, so with the information, let's just point out a few things. This is jar X, right? And this is jar Y. So we know the jars, right? And when we look at it, we realize that they have given us the diameter, which is 3D here, and the diameter there, which is the D. All right, and the next thing is we realize that they have given us the height so of the water that is in jar x so we can see those things we can see the water here up to that height right so we can see those things okay and another thing that they said to us is that the cross section um of two cylindrical jars so this is showing the cross section of two cylindrical jars right so that information is really important so we know that we're looking at at at, at cylinders right uh, let's look at the first question it says determine in terms of pi and d the volume of water in jar x so we're going to determine the volume of water in jar x so let's write down the formula for volume so that's the first thing you need to remember to do to 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 be able to state the formula for volume all right and the formula for volume is v equal area of cross section times height so whatever the cross section is for cylinder and for prisms it's area of cross section times height all right so let's work out the area of jar x so we're looking at the area and area is pi r square good so they say we're leaving our answer in terms of pi which means that we're not going to put in 22 over 7 or we're not going to put in 3.14 we're just going to leave it with we're just going to leave it with pi all right and now we go to the next part which is the radius r square so we know that the diameter is 3d and radius is half of the diameter so if the diameter here is 3d then radius must be 1.5 t good so we go ahead and we write down our radius which is 1.5 d all squared all right and we're going to go ahead and simplify that so 1.5 times square would give us 2.25 so we'll put our numbers at the front so it's 2.25 so it's 2.25 our pi goes back as it is and would have d square at the back all right so 1.5 d squared is 2.25 d squared so put our number at the front the pi and then the d square all right good so now we have the era of uh, jar x so we have the area of jar x so we're going to go volume equal the area of jar x which is 2.25 pi d square times the height which is 4 centimeter good so we'll go ahead and write in our volume so we're going to multiply our 4 by 2.25 and 4 times 2.25 give us 9 so that is going to be 9 pi d square and our unit is centimeter so volume would be centimeter cube so that's the volume of the water in jar x right and we're finished they still leave our answer in terms of pi and d 
So we leave our answer in terms of pi and d. We're not working it out any further. All right, and that's your solid two marks. Easy, easy two marks. All right, so let's go down to the next one now. And the next one says, if all the water from jar X is now poured into jar Y, calculate the height it will reach. So we're going to take the water out of jar X. And I know you have done that before. From jar X and pour it into jar Y. Maybe it's a case where you use um, two cups maybe to cool tea. I don't know if you have had that experience, but I've had that experience growing up. So you would be pouring from one cup to another. One might be bigger than one. Or maybe it's a case where you had something in a large container and see where it would be better for you to put it in a smaller container and you you did exactly that all right so we're pouring the liquid from jar x into jar y so let's look at jar jar y and let's identify some things about jar y the diameter is d that means our radius is half of d, which is therefore 0 0.5 d, right? Or you could write half of d. All right, good. So that's our radius. And the next thing that we're going to do is if we're going to pour from one to the other, pour from here to here, then the volume is going to be the same. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to write down the volume for jar y. So we know the volume for jar y. And we're, we're going to also write down the volume, volume for jar X. So we already have the volume for jar X, which is 9 pi d square centimeter cube. So now we're doing the volume for jar Y. And the volume for jar Y is still going to be the area of the cross section times the height. All right. So we go up here and we work out our area. So we're going to work out our area. So area is going to be pi. And we're leaving pi. We're not working it out. Not writing in the exact value. Pi times radius square. All right. So the radius is 0 0.5 d square. Let's see if we can write that a little better. All right. So it fits. So the radius equal of the area equal pi times 0 0.5 d square all right so that's the the radius and we square the radius so we'd have 0 0.5 Square, so it's 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which gives us 0 0.25. So at the front, we're going to go ahead and have 0 0.25 pi d square. So we have our area, so we're going to come down and we're going to put that in. All right, so we'll come down here and write in our area, which is 0 0.25 pi d square times the height we don't know the height so we're going to leave it as as that all right so what i want you to know now is that the volume of the water in jar y is the same volume of water that is going to be in jar x or the volume of the water in jar x is the same volume of water that is going to be poured into jar y right so we're going to take from jar x and pour into jar y so they're going to be the same exact volume so given that they are the same what we can go ahead and do is to equate both of them so we're going to equate the volume here the volume here to the volume here and that way we'll be able to find the value of h all right so we'll go ahead and we say 9 pi d square equals 0 0.25 pi d square times h all right and what we're interested in doing is finding the value of h so what we're going to do is to just go ahead and divide both sides 
by the coefficients of h, all right, or whatever h is being multiplied by. So h is being multiplied by 0 0.25 pi d squared. So remove it once, all right, and we divide this side by the same thing, 0 0.25 pi d squared. And what you're going to see happening is that we can cancel some things. So the 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 pi cancel the pi there and the d square cancel the d square there and the next thing that i want you to do now is to go to your calculator and put in your calculator 9 divided by 0 0.25 and that is going to give you 36 all right and we go ahead and we put equal over here and we cancel just the same 0 0.25 cancel 0 0.25 pi cancel pi d square cancel d square and all we're left with is h so therefore h equals 36 and not just 36 but 36 centimeters because we're using um centimeters a unit that we're using right so 36 centimeters and that will be the height the water would reach in jar y all right so this um question values two marks again so this is four mark question it takes a bit of practice right and for you to know the skills so one you need to know how to find your radius two you need to know how to find the area of a circle and three you need to know how to to find the volume of a cylinder and four you need to know how to transpose all right so that's it for our question here on area and volume do join us again we'll be doing another past paper question on volume and surface area or just area some topic in re in relation to measurement and remember to like subscribe and share so that other persons can benefit and if you have subscribed already just go ahead and share all right and we we'll see you in the next video until then bye, -bye.